searching for the light. I am looking for a guide to end the sleepless night, to live in deathless life. For the absolute wellness, for the financial freedom. That's a global family. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good morning DSN hmm. Okay, uh, tonight uh, one more time we are live in DSN Malaysia Facebook So first of all I would like to thanks all of you Our beloved DSN distributor all around the world and live with us right now uh, Okay, so malam ni satu lagi tajuk yang akan kita share atau kita kongsi dengan anda. Uh, and tonight will be in English session. Uh, so I'm really confident you will be able uh, to learn more about our green theory product. Uh, okay, so as we know, the essence produce a lot of products and this product, uh, we call it as a green product. Uh, the most uh, powerful products in the XN. Mm, okay, so just stay tuned. Uh, I will, later on, we will uh, invite and welcome our guest speaker to share with you about this uh, green product, uh, which is tonight we will share about our DXN spirulina. Mm, okay. Okay, so say hello to Freedom. Okay, say hello to Freedom. Good morning to everyone. Mm, thank you very much. Let's us see uh, apa yang kita kena buat. Of course, tak lain tak bukan. Mm, malam ni adalah malam yang kita kata semua orang pun 
dah ada depan uh, laptop ataupun depan handphone, smartphone masing-masing untuk bersama-sama dengan kita mendengar cerita tentang DSM Spirulina. Hmm. Okay, uh, seperti biasa. Seperti biasa, apa yang perlu anda buat hanya ada tiga perkara. Ha, jadi, saya rasa macam uh, tak perlu nak ulang. Ha. Setiap malam pun kita repeat the, the, the same uh, uh, apa perkara yang kita kena buat. The three things you have to do as a DSN distributor, DSN members to keep promoting DSN. Okay, remember uh, every day, every time we go live, we do activity, it's not just for you. It's all for everyone because this is a uh, Fortunet actually is a uh, product knowledge uh, about our key product which is uh, the DSN uh, Spirulina. Okay, uh, so this is a very important uh, for you to share the link, keep uh, sharing the link and of course we hope uh, the live viewers will be increased and this session will benefit to all of you. And of course, we can uh, highlight our brand of TXN. Mm. So, hopefully, okay, but after this session, uh, semua pun akan lebih faham dan lebih seronok uh, nak mengamalkan Spirulina dan uh, willingly, okay, sangat suka, happy to share about uh, DSN Spirulina. Hmm, okay. Alright, so I think uh, malam pun dah uh, hampir pukul 8.40 kita dah uh, pasti kita perlukan lagi uh, live viewers anda boleh share terus, no problem anda boleh share sampailah kita cukup 50 kita akan live hmm? uh, sekarang kita dah hampir 40 lebih live yang tengah kita keep, keep, keep sharing no problem, sekejap lagi kita akan live untuk sama-sama mendengar cerita uh, DSN Spirulina, jadi saya ulang-ulang jugalah ya because uh, today is uh, Wednesday, mm, eh Wednesday lah, today is Tuesday, mm, hari pun lupa. Eh jangan lupa ya, tiga-tiga benda ni uh, for uh, newly lah, uh, eh, log in dalam Facebook kita. Thank you very much for choosing DSN and of course all our DSN distributor to uh, because choose DSN as your way of life. Mm, DSN uh, dah 27 tahun in the market and very strong. Okay, very strong and thank you for you to make it DSN uh, and you are one of the almost 10 million DSN members all around the world. Mm, thank you, thank you. Mm, okay, so before we invite and welcome our guests, uh, let me share uh, a little bit about our uh, program this week because we still have uh, three more programs. Mm, okay. Tengok kat sini ya. Eh. Okay, kat sini nampak. Okay. So, tomorrow. Hmm, tomorrow is uh, tomorrow is uh, Tuesday. Wednesday. Hmm. Okay, Wednesday 15. Kita ada live bersama dengan Nepalese leaders uh, in, in Nepalese language ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, pukul 8.30 malam juga sama. And then Friday. Friday we have uh, one more international speaker uh, from Middle East. Uh, current ambassador uh, Mr. Abi Joseph uh, in the ambassador journey. Hmm. So, of course, every week we bring to you the successful leaders, especially our crowd ambassador all around the world to share his success journey, his motivation, his inspiration. Uh, because uh, last week also we bring uh, the first crown ambassador from America, crown ambassador Mr. Rafael Diaz. Okay. Uh, I think that the highest earner in the SN. Uh, okay. Mm. All right. So stay tuned until uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday also. We have uh, two more program, the Leaders Corner. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, we have one more journey to success with Thailand leaders. Uh, so this week, uh, very special lah because we bring uh, Nepal also have, also we have the uh, Thailand leaders, our neighbor country. Mm. Okay. So stay tuned guys and keep promoting DSN. Okay, uh, I think uh, dah habis apa yang saya nak share. But remember guys, uh, to keep sharing, keep uh, uh, click je, click uh, share, 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 share. And of course in your Facebook, uh, comment tu, uh, just click uh, like, love, whatever lah. Uh, like, like, love, like, love, love, love. Uh, to increase our, our traffic or our volume in uh, Facebook. Okay, and last but not least, uh, this session, after this session, 
you are also can uh, ask any question related to this uh, topic, the essence by Rulina. And inshallah, our guest speaker uh, will answer your question. Hmm. But after the presentation of uh, the essence by Rulina. Okay, thank you guys. So stay tuned and let us welcome our guest speaker for ding, 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 ding. I think this uh, beautiful lady. Mm, okay, very well known already. Let's just welcome. Okay, good morning, Miss Pervisha. Hi. Hi, morning. Okay. Good morning. So, I think kita tak buang masa dah. Okay, we will continue. I will pass this session to you. Uh, okay, for the topic of the tonight, Screen Theory, the Accent by Rulina. So, let's just one more time uh, welcome our guest speaker, uh, Miss Pervisha. Ready? K7. Okay. <laughs> Please welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Zachary. Thank you, DXM, for the opportunity. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy mm -hmm. and, and excited to be back here. I'm going to talk about another fantastic and not so often being talked on the right purpose, uh, Spiriluna. And Spiriluna is usually being said as green, uh, which is obvious. It's a, it's a green uh, theory. All right, let's go. Okay. okay, so it's been called as the green theory all for obvious reason because Spiruna is green. Um, but apart from that, apart from just being a green color, what is Spiruna is all about? I'm pretty sure by end of this session, it won't be a thing drop silent. It's going to be everybody is going to be like flushing in all the answers back to me because pretty sure you guys are going to have a lot of things to say after you have learn what is spirituna and what is the common thing about spirituna what is the benefit of spirituna how does spirituna help our system how does spirituna contributes to our system so you're going to learn a lot about spirituna today so let's start now spirituna what is spirituna let's go on the basic first so spirituna is a microalgae that has been consumed for centuries and why? Why would, why would people over the centuries consuming spirituna, you may ask? It is because it is high, high, extremely high nutritional value and supposed health benefits. We will go through each and every health benefit, even if we take the whole night. No, I'm just kidding. It's going to be an hour program. So today, out of popular lifestyle personalities endorse spirituna as a secret, potent, superfood and a miracle from the sea. Um, here's an in interesting fact, guys. Did you know that uh, spiruna is also used as one of the food source for people of astronauts and NASA? So you should know how much of high quality nutrition spiruna has for it to be one of the food source to be given to astronauts who needs abundant supply of nutrition to keep their system going in that kind of environment. So did you guys know that spiruna is also called the pawn scum? Yeah, it's it lives in the pawn and it's called a scum. Uh, but that's what the popular supplement is really is. It's actually a type of blue green algae that grows naturally in oceans and salty lakes in subtropical climates. Now, the extract. Extract is like the ancient time of people. So the extract usually harvested this spiriduna from Lake Texcoco in central Mexico. And it is still harvested from Lake Chad in West Central Africa and turned into dry cakes. Now, Spiruna was once classified as a plant because its richness in plant pigments. 
as well as its ability to photosynthesis, of course. But at first, Spirino was been classified as a genus Arturospira. But later, it was put into a genus of Spirina. And this has been excessively studied. You guys can go and Google and find out a lot of things about Spirina. And it's amazing how much of studies, how much of research have gone into Spirina. And so much of outcome has come from it as well. Now, Spirina grows in a microscopic spirals, which tend to stick together. So when that happens, it makes it far more easy to be harvested. It has an intense blue-green color, but relatively a mild taste. Those who have tasted spirulina will understand what I mean by mild taste of uh, taste bud. Now, aside from supplement, uh, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, also allow manufacturers to use spirulina as a color additive in gum, candy, and other packaged foods. So it has also been included in as a sub for other types of food as well. Now, <coughs> sorry. Now, so this is a new uh, a new slide that has been going around. So those people who have been with the Accent family for a very long time, or who have undergone product knowledge training with the DXN staff or members or um, members as well, they will be very familiar with this green theory uh, slide. Now, I wanted to, the reason why I put this slide in it, because I wanted to show you guys that I am not going to more explain about this slide. I am going to go even further in depth. I am going to explore things that you guys have not known about Spirulina. That is my aim for today. But I would love to go through the basics. So as all of you guys would have familiar that when, when it comes to consuming of Spirulina, they always say that oh, it's for anemic, it's for hemoglobin level, it's for your blood circulation. So this is the common um, uh, example of supplement Spirulina is used for. And it's also in a study that we, we have 40 older people with a history of anemia. Spirulina supplement increased the hemoglobin content of red blood cell and improved immune function. So now this is something you guys have actually known. Spirulina is for hemoglobin level, it's for your red blood cell, um, it's for your blood circulation. So this is done and dusted. I'm going to go to the next slide for you to understand Spirulina is far more better and far more useful other than for our blood circulation. Now, after the next slide, now, number one, Spirulina is extremely high in many nutrients. So now we are going to go move away from the blood supply circulation story. And we're going to look at what are the part of the nutrients that Spirulina has. So it contains the protein, vitamin B1, B2, B3, copper, and iron. Now, of course, coming back to the blood circulation, all these are beautiful ingredients of nutrients for our bone marrow to produce new red blood cells. So now you understand the link between spirulina and our blood circulation and how it helps in developing new red blood cells. Now, did you guys know a standard daily dose of spirulina, one to three grams, but those up to 10 grams per day have been used effectively. So you can, a single tablespoon, like around seven gram of dry spirulina powder contains all those that's been listed below. So how amazing is that? Only seven grain, but contains all these fantastic nutrients included. Um, in addition, the same amount holds only 20 calories and 1.7 gram of digestible carbs. So basically it is not, increase on your calorie intake you're still able to keep healthy and keep fit at the same time now um apart from whatever that's mentioned it also contains magnesium potassium manganese and small amounts of almost every nutrients for me i find like spirulina is an all around the nutrients it's just pack of full fun facts um, I have never seen anybody say that, oh, don't take spirulina, spirulina is bad. I think those who say that are those people who uh, maybe perhaps have not seen my, my, my life thing going on. Or number two, 
have not studied about spirulina much because there is zero complaint about spirulina. Spirulina is just abundant supply of nutrients waiting for you guys to start consuming spirulina. Okay. Now, number two, spirulina is also a powerful antioxidant. And how it happens is that, okay, this is the interesting fact. Oxidative damage can harm your DNA and your cells. This damage can drive to chronic inflammation. And those who have um, paid attention to my previous uh, presentation about enzyme theory will understand chronic inflammation, what does it do to our system? It will contribute and develop furthermore um, illness or ailments and diseases. And how does spirulina help in this situation? Well, spirulina is a fantastic source of antioxidants, which can protect against oxidative damage. Now, who knew that? And how does it do? It has a main active component called uh, phycosanin. This antioxidant substance also gives spirulina that unique blue-green color. So not only it gives such a beautiful color to spirulina, but it also gives plenty of benefit for our own system. Now, phycosanine can fight free radicals and inhibit production of inflammatory signaling molecules. Now, this is providing an impressive antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effect. So this is a very important fact, you guys. When anybody asks you, uh, what does spirulina do to you? And if you just say, oh, spirulina is just a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So now you can go a bit more further in depth by saying the main active component, which is the phagocenin, which helps for the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Now, several studies also have proven that spirulina can arrest the development of cancer progression. Now, again, I'm telling, I'm repeating this, guys, that whatever that I'm mentioning now, whatever DHM product, it is merely a helping tool. So whatever diseases or whatever illness that you're having, this is, this is a preventive measure. This is one step before you get any sort of ailment. So like I've explained, spirulina can arrest the development of cancer progression. So this is a step, step behind the whole thing starts and also reduce the risk of cancer initiation or benign tumor and it also boosts your immune system it is great substitute for animal products as it contains a special form of protein that assimilates well now this is a good news for those who are vegetarians um, vegans and those who are just trying to avoid eating meat for health purposes or for religion purposes guys take Spirulina. This is, has abundant supply of protein, which will make you forget about meat. Now, um, unlike animal proteins, it does not burden your body with waste product. And it also does not call acidity like how seafood or red meat cause. And it is also rich in like the main active component, our phycosanin, a pigment with anti-cancer properties. So you guys are learning a lot about phycosanin. And the benefit of phagocenin in spirulina keeps keep on developing. Um, it strengthens the immunity and inhibit excess cell division. Spirulina offer also some protection against oral cancer. Now, why I say oral cancer? Because um, there were a study conducted by, for 87 people in India with precancerous lesion called oral submucous fibrosis or shortly known as OSMF, in the mouth. Uh, among those who took one gram of spirulina per day for one year, 45% of them saw their lesions disappear compared to only 7% in the control group. So this has actually scientifically, medically been tested using placebo effect and people volunteer as well. And when these people stop taking spirulina, almost half of them redevelop lesions in the following year. That's a very interesting fact. And in another study conducted with 40 individuals with the same lesion of OSMF, one gram of spirulina per day led to greater improvement of OSMF symptoms 
Then the drug pentosifilin. Pentosifilin is what we use as a chemotech for o OFMF. So it spirina obviously can match to our chemotaps, but it definitely can help chemotaps and it definitely benefit in much more. We able to control the symptoms, we able to control the preventive measure by using spirina. Okay, so we know that first it has high many nutrients. It is a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. It may have anti-cancer properties as well, based on the studies. Now, fourth one, it can protect HDL, which also known as high density lipoprotein level, and lower our triglyceride level, which is our amino acid. Now, fatty structure in your body are susceptible to oxidative damages. Always remember that. This is known as lipid peroxidation which is a key driver of many developing serious illness. Now, for example, one of the key steps in development of heart disease is the oxidation of incomplete process of cholesterol. So this is, happens when you do not have a complete digestion process of cholesterol, the development of heart disease can occur. Interestingly, the antioxidant in spirulina appear to be particularly effective at reducing this lipid peroxy peroxidation in both humans and animals. So this is a win-win situation. Apart from um, antioxidant for our blood circulation, spirina also helps in reducing lipid peroxidation process. And I think this is a fantastic thing to know about spirulina. And I'm pretty sure you guys have not known that spirulina can help for your allergies. We we DXM people will always opt for when it comes to allergy. We will opt for like ligno, ligno powder, ligno plus syrup, or um, ligno pine. It's always ligno, ligno. But hey, guys, even spirulina can help. Now, allergy rhinitis. It's characterized by inflammation in your nasal passageways. It is triggered by environment allergens such as pollen, animal hair, or even dust or environment. Now, spirulina is a popular, a very popular alternative treatment for symptoms of allergic rhinitis. And there is an evidence that can be effective. Um, in one study that was conducted, in 127 people with allergies issue, 2 grams per day dramatically reduced the symptoms like nasal discharge, sneezing, nasal congestion, and itching. Now, consumption of spirulina helps in reducing all the symptoms. Now, this is so amazing that we know spirulina also helps for people who have um, chesty cough, flame accumulation. So all this will help if you consume spirulina. Now, off to the fun fact. Of number six we are still moving you guys can see the facts is just adding up so don't think spirulina is just for blood supply or blood circulation or hemoglobin level it has so much more benefit and we are going through one by one now number six it may reduce the blood pressure now blood pressure blood sugar this is the two most talked about in our medical field, in our, among everyday's life. Everybody, everybody will say like, oh, what's your pressure? Your pressure is so high. Or what's your sugar? Your sugar is so high. This is like a daily routine conversation when, when you meet up after so long or after MCO, after having fun and all that. It's always blood pressure, blood sugar, blood pressure, blood sugar. So by consuming spirulina, hey, there's no, there's no need of this conversation. You can talk about so many other benefit stuff after consuming spirulina. Now, how spirulina helps in your blood pressure and blood sugar? While one gram of spirulina is inactive, a dose of 4.5 grams per day has been shown to reduce blood pressure in individuals with normal levels. This reduction is thought to be driven. Now, how spirulina? is been driven by an increased production of nitric oxide, a signaling molecule that helps your blood vessel relax and dilate. Now, when it comes to sugar, a study, it was observed that taking spirulina as a dietary supplement for 12 weeks results 
in a significant reduction in blood fat levels. It is particularly beneficial for diabetics and is decreased inflammation and help reduce your blood pressure and your cholesterol as well, like I have mentioned. So by having these properties, which helps the blood vessel to relax and dilate. This makes the heart don't have to work a bit extra. So here's an interesting fact that you guys should know, that when your blood pressure is high, always remember, it may be few other reasons. It's not necessary because your, your heart is, is not fluctuating pressure or anything of sort. It can be something simple like your blood circulation. Uh, this is a common thing that I have been observing, that when, when I have people who check their blood pressure, oh, the blood pressure is very high, you know, oh, my heart, there's something wrong with my heart. Generally, definitely heart plays a role, but generally, usually, it's because our blood circulation. When our blood is very thick, blood thickness happens, this requires our heart to work extra. So heart have to work extra in order to reach to the furthest of our body, which is our tip of our fingers and our tip of our toes. So when that happens, blood pressure goes up because why? You are making your heart to overwork due to the blood thickness. So technically it's not a heart problem, it's your blood circulation problem. So in general, people who start consuming um, spiruna will rebalance their blood circulation and obviously the blood pressure will be normal because now the heart do not require to work as hard as it should because the blood circulation is going on a normal pace. Um, also, when it comes to your blood sugar, uh, spirulina definitely has a lot of scientific um, evidence base which has control of blood sugar. Now, improve our gut health. Those who have been with me since day one will understand that I love to talk about our gut. I love to talk about our digestion system because our digestion system is the motherboard of our entire body. This is the, 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 the most important element in our entire system. And guess what, guys? Spiruna helps that too. How does it help? Spiruna is a easily digestible as its cells do not have a tough fibrous walls. Now, study shows that spirina can support gut health as people's age. Because as we grow older, our, our gut will grow old as well. So technically, the mucosal membrane layer, the absorption, the ACDP, the electrolytes, alkaline acid base, everything will be affected as we age. Now, a study conducted in 2017 on a mice suggested that spirina can help preserve the healthy gut bacteria. So don't forget, we also have our happy, happy bacteria in our gut that we ever so needy in order to have a fantastic absorption. And I'm pretty sure you guys have known this, or this will be a new fact to you. Spirina also treat ulcer. How does it treat ulcer? Is that act as a good treatment for gastric, duodenal ulcer, thanks to the presence of amino acid. You guys got it right cysteine and a high content of high quality protein. Being rich in chlorophyll, it is great for retaining and restoring a good digestion. Now with all these properties, of course spirulina prevents constipation because when you consume spirulina, all your, your happy guts, your happy gut bacteria is happy, your gastric, your acid, amino acid, your Electrolytes are very well balanced. Mucosal membrane layer in your digestive colon and your ileum is perfectly fine. How can you have constipation? So of course, spirulina prevents constipation. Now, I have actually explained very briefly on the benefits of spirulina, how it's benefit into our system, and what is spirulina all about? But here, this is the best thing, guys. Look at this. DX and company have created so many varieties of spirulina for you to consume to your own liking. Like, I, one thing I love about DXN is that DXN doesn't make it seem like you're eating medicine. It doesn't seem like you've been forced to, to take your greens, take all your supplements and your nutrients. But the accent make it so much fun. Like we have spear noodle, which is an authentic tom yum flavor, specially made with spear runner. 
And most important, guys, it is free from artificial coloring and use the all free drying process. Now, guys, Maggie, all those um, commercialized um, noodles, especially the fast fast food type of noodles, all has wax. And the beauty of spear noodles is that it does not have wax. And if you guys get spear noodle, you will know once you start boiling it, you will not see that 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 milky layer, you know, that bubbles layer of wax on it. And it's so fast. It's so easy to cook and it's so fast to cook. Always remember, guys, anytime you buy any sort of noodles, when you boil it, if there is a bubble layer on top, that is your wax layer. And that is what you will consume. And that is what going into your happy gut. Always remember, our happy, happy gut will suffer when you consume all those wax materials. Go and get spear noodle, guys. Tom Yum flavor is amazing. And ah, spear noodle cereal. What a way to start our morning. Apart from taking oats or taking Cocoa Crunch, Corn Flakes or what, you can give your children spear noodle cereal. And trust me, guys, you actually don't feel the, the spear noodle. I know some people would think oh, spear noodle is such a strong taste. If you guys can't handle spear noodle taste, I would suggest adding Cocoa Z our pure hot cocoa add cocoa z one packet with spirina cereal packet and then you eat it so so yum and spirina cereal has high nutrients of spirina cereal with spirina extract so this is a fantastic way to get your morning started with spirina and apart from all these fancy fancy meals that you can make using spirina this is the basic um, spare runner we have. We have in a tablet and a capsule form, also in a powder form. Uh, these are naturally cultivated using selected best species. It is cultivated in a clean pond and there's no pesticide or herbicides are applied. And this is something that I have actually seen on my own eyes when I made a trip to the DXN farm in Jitra in Kadah, Malaysia. Uh, I had this privilege to look at how spirina was grown and been made it, it's one thing I can assure you, Spirina is being made with full of love, guys. It's, it's such a beautiful insight to see how Spirina has been made. Without any sort of chemical or any sort of preservative for no pesticide, nothing. This is the purest Spirina by far that I have seen. Now, guys, I have given you Spirina capsule, powder, tablet. I've given you Spirina cereal. And I have given you spirit noodle, noodles. So there's no excuses why you should not incorporate spirit in your daily life, in your daily routine. Okay, now, I know you guys are waiting for this moment. The beauty of DXN is that you do not only use DXN product, DXN spirit for consuming. You also can use DXN spirit for other stuff. What is the other stuff I'm talking about? We can use spirulina for skin benefits. Now, why? I want to explain the scientific reason behind first before I explain the secret ingredients and the secret recipe. Spirulina has a high contain of vitamin A, B12, and E, calcium, iron, and phosphorus. All are rich, very vital for skin health. Free radicals make your skin look tired, limp, and flabby. Taking spirulina supplements on a regular basis works wonders for your skin. So this is for consuming, but also for applying. Now, spirulina is effective in treating dark circles and dry eye symptoms. It is a detoxifying effect, give your eyes new energy, power, removing dark shadows and dryness. Spirulina also contains tyrosine, vitamin E, tocopherol, and selenium. All are which known for their anti-aging effects. Now, this is a thing, thing, thing. Why? Tyroxine slows down the aging of skin cells. Now, all the anti-aging um, people who just want to have a youthful and a chemical-free and all nature-based start putting spirulina. Okay, enough, guys. So, how do you do DX and spirulina into your face? Now, this is something that um, I have personally done and I have personally recommended numerous people. Face mask. We can do our own face mask using the Exxon Spirulina. How? We use one capsule of Spirulina, add a few drops of pure rose water and try to have the most purest organic rose water. 
mix a mix one capsule, mix a few drops, make like a paste, and you can apply it on your face. Uh, leave it for at least 20 to 30 minutes or till it gets dry, and then you just wash it off. Instantly, you can feel there is your skin has room to breathe, and it's actually thanking you, by the way. And apart from face masks, you can also use as a detoxification, like an exfoliating skin. How do we do this? We use one scoop of spirina powder plus one cup of pure coconut body scrub. You can get this body scrub at, at any retailers, of course, but make sure you get an organic one. One scoop of spirina powder and one cup of pure coconut body scrub. So you can actually just exfoliate your skin. And you can do it throughout your body, any dark region, dark spot in any part of your body. You can use this as an exfoliating scrub. Now. Apart from skin, now for hair, external use of spirina can speed up hair growth. Uh, besides consumption, this algae is used as an ingredient in shampoo, conditioner treatments. It also helps in the hair regrowth. Spirina acts as an alternative medicine to deter further loss of hair and facilitate hair renewal. Spirina acts as an antioxidant compound, taking it up to four weeks to make your hair completely dandruff-free, glossy, and stronger. How do we do that? Now, hair mask. This is something that I have actually re recommended a few people and been getting good feedback. You use two capsules of spirulina. You add a few drops of gunner oil. Guys, don't forget to shake the gunner oil bottle because Lindsay is hiding inside. So once you shake the gunner oil bottle nicely, add a few drops, put in two capsules of spirulina, and what you do, just take a bit and apply it directly to your scalp. Problem with hair loss or hair issue is not the hair, it's the scalp issue. So we need to attack the core problem. So just take two capsules, few drops, make a paste and apply it directly. Just rub it nicely into your scalp and try to make sure the Ghana oil seeps inside and absorb. As you know, Ghana oil absorbs seven layers of a skin straight to our blood circulation. So just get a nice rub it on your scalp region everywhere. And you can do what? Just I would just wrap it up and leave it for up to two hours. And then when I am taking bath, I will shower it as well. So I do this for at least um, in one week, two to three times. Or each time when you wash your hair, two hours before, just do this hair mask and run your errands and then just wash your hair. Now for hair mask for dandruff, those who are suffering from dandruff, you can use half a scoop of spirulina powder plus 10 ml of our very own virgin coconut oil. Because virgin coconut oil has the properties of um, opening up our pores and clearing all this flaky dandruff. So hair mask, same thing, you can put it and um, instead of two hours, because virgin coconut oil composition is a bit thick. So I would suggest doing this hair mask for dandruff for around 40 minutes, and then you can just wash it off. I have given you so many things. I've given you consumption of spirulina, and I've also given you usage of spirulina for your skin and your hair. So guys, get your spirulina and start doing all this benefit and this fun stuff, okay? Now, I have always been very proud of my guru. I, If you want to know more things about spirulina, please look it up for this research paper. This is the first Ever research paper collaborate with our DXN um, founder and CEO, um, with, and also Dr. Sivak Kumaran. You will know more about spirulina using having a read on this paper. So, guys, don't miss the chance. Um, this paper has been going viral and going around, has been such an eye opener for many people who are trying to understand what is DXN products all about and how DXN products can help our immune system and our overall well-being. So guys, do check out this paper. Now, I would like to explain a bit more about how Spirina is not only helping our system, but also helping globally, worldwidely. Now, given its high nutrition profile, scientists examining malnourition have shown an interest in Spirina. Several studies have looked at the effect of supplementation among malnourished population, including anemic pregnant women and children in developing countries with high poverty rates. According, this is a paper according to a 2017 review published 
in the Journal of International Medical Research. One such study actually shows that published in Maternal Pediatric Nutrition in 2016, involving 87 malnourished and anemic children under age 5 from Gaza, researchers have gave half the children vitamins and mineral supplements and half of the sub spirulina supplements for three months. The children who received spirulina saw a significant more improvement in weight and height gain. Ferritin and iron levels, hemoglobin volume than in the children who just received a regular vitamin and mineral supplements. The author noted that small size of study and more research have been done for to examine the malnourished using spirulina, guys. So this is a very, very um, bombastic thing that malnourishment is something that many uh, high poverty case countries are suffering. So spirulina has been a wonder, a wonder woman, a hero in this malnourishment case. And what an amazing, proud thing to know that DXN has something to do with it as well. Now, Intergovernmental Institution for the Use of Microalgae Spiruna Against Malnourishment, or in short, is called IMSAM. This is an intergovernmental observer to the United Nations Economic and Social Council. So IMSAM and DXN have actually signed an MOU to bring spiruna to an unprecedented 1 million children, as well as 50 kg spiruna to IMSAM per month for one year to its flagship program. How amazing is that? That DXN is able to collaborate with IMSAM to give, contribute spiruna to 1 million children for 90 days, three grams of spiruna daily. And how does it benefit this? Of course, it improves the life of children and other participating in the human therapy program. The extent to stem the loss of lives worldwide by various means is not only a prudent decision, but also a significant return that aid towards building a better and more inclusive and just world. So this is this is something which is we as a DXN members and DXN family should be extremely proud. DXN know the benefit of spirulina and DXN is putting a good use of our spirulina to help the whole world. So kudos to DXN, kudos to our founder and CEO, Dr. Lin Saojin for this wonderful collaboration and wonderful start. So this is the way guys, spirulina, I think I have said so much about spirulina. I think I have said not enough about spirulina. There's so much more benefit of spirulina, but this is just the tip of spirulina's wonderful iceberg, guys. Spirulina is an amazing product, and DXN is giving such a high quality and, and high preservatives of spirulina that and we can never be lack of spirulina. And with the benefit of whatever it's been giving to our system and to the world, spirulina, I would say, is a way of life. It's the next step of having a healthy lifestyle. Now, guys, I have come to the end of my session. I know it's a very short session, but I hope it's, a, it's an eye-opener. It's a very brightening uh, journey about spirulina. But... Fun fact aside, this is definitely a challenging time. Please do not take this lightly. It's a very challenging period for every one of us to stay healthy. We are staying alive, so I don't have to say staying alive, but we have to stay healthy. Now, stay healthy and strong immunity, strong system, strong gut. Do not forget that. We have responsibilities. We have to live consciously and responsible for the betterment of our future. Now, how do we do that? Let's stay healthy and boost our system with DXM. Thank you. Mm, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you.
Star Diamond Miss Pervisha Okay Give me clap Thank you very much Hmm Okay so I think a lot of point And uh, Maybe the I think uh, Most of the viewers Or our DSM members uh, With us now uh, Really excited And I think full of knowledge Of DSM Spirulina And the most important thing is We uh, We are as uh, what Miss Pervisha said, you can visit our DSN Spirulina Pond mm, in uh, DSN Farm in Jitra. So you can see, because Singh is believing, you can see the process how we harvest this Spirulina. And you can drink the pure Spirulina in our DSN Farm. Mm, please oh welcome God. to our... I remember mm. the time when I drank that Spirulina. Uh, you, can, you can drink as much as you can. <laughs> Uh, one glass, two glass, three glass, uh, unlimited. Okay, you can okay, can drink. Okay, so once again, uh, thank you very much, Babisha. And to all the uh, viewers, uh, you have a time to ask any question related to the essence of Pyrolina. And also thank you to Babisha and highlight or our uh, new project of uh, malnutrition to help the uh, child uh, uh, acute malnutrition. It's uh, all around the world, uh, not not uh, only in Africa, but all around the world. So with our contribution, uh, we make it there as uh, spirulina is a superfood. So we hope uh, can help our lovely children, okay, uh, to grow healthy, and of course uh, we can share uh, the benefit of spirulina or to anyone. All right, so um, let us see. Uh, any question from the floor? Uh, okay, okay. This is just, uh, <laughs> uh, always after your presentation. Uh, the most beautiful thing is this compliment. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it's my coaching Frankie. family. <laughs> yeah, coaching family. Okay, okay. This is also from. Uh, Mr. Daniel, and my daughter take Roselle and Spirulina. Mm, yeah, because our product, our Spirulina is super food. Uh, so children, it's good to eat because nowadays children sangat susah makan sayur. So it's just a good choice of uh, for replacement of sayur-sayur uh, vegetable. Okay, let us see. Mm, okay, okay. All right. So this one, I use Spirulina for facial mask. Okay. Uh, so, Pervisha also say uh, the recipe uh, to do the uh, facial mask. But uh, don't forget because we also have our gym puri mask uh, inside all the ingredient. The powerful ingredient also is a spirulina extract. Uh, so, you, you want your face to become twang, 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 uh, like Pervisha, very shining, <laughs> natural. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yes. uh, okay uh, uh, gym puri mask. Hmm. Okay, and also our skincare, our newest skincare from Korea also, uh, the America and the Empuri also the more the one of the ingredient super ingredient is spirulina. Okay, uh, beauty from inside out. Uh, beauty from out inside. <laughs> okay. All right. Externally, also. Yeah. All right. So this is fresh. Hmm. Great. Extended information set. Uh. As the Pervisha, thank you very much. My question is, hmm, any idea how much is uh, quantity of Spirulina is added in our Spirulina cereal in Spirulina? Oh, actually, this <laughs> is included at the back of the packaging. If you guys hmm, turn yeah. at the back of the packaging, it's been said how many gram per packet or how many gram the entire parcel contains Content. of Spirulina. So, yeah. just have to turn the packet and you guys will get to know how much goodies Spirulina contain inside. Hmm. But the cereal is very nice. Uh, although without Kokozi, it's very nice. No, okay. I, I got some people who say that once they add with Kokozi, even Dr. Siva takes it with Kokozi, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he left Kokozi. Yeah, uh, I think that's just an excuse. La. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. My daughter said Kokozi is very serious. Chocolate porridge. Oh, yeah. see? <laughs> so cute. Okay. Hmm, all right. Uh, okay, let's just see. Mm. Ah. <laughs> ah, as predicted. 
Oh, okay. What? So basically, one capsule of spirulina has four tablets of spirulina inside. So you guys can mm. do the math. That one capsule yeah. is actually far more concentrated. I don't like to use gram because when we consume, that nobody is using gram measurement. So I rather like to use simplified. That one capsule has four tablets of spirulina inside. Mm, okay, plus minus. Okay, yeah, then uh, you can calculate. But remember, this is a, not a medicine, so you can take a, uh, any you, amount you, you can, want. You can down <laughs> the entire <laughs> bottle of spirulina and still be some power. Ah, okay, like what uh, your Sifu said, uh, the only one superfood in the world, okay, yeah. uh, they can eat large amount, uh, unlimited, okay, uh, superfood. Mm, okay, uh, all right, so one more uh, testimony. I have used uh, gano oil mixed with spirulina, <laughs> but scalp will suit more healthy <laughs> hair. Then. Okay, uh, this is for hair. Who has no more hair since he's become MD of my biggest <laughs> uh, way in Malaysia. Mm, okay, I can try. Okay, another, uh, this is a, uh, the uh, question from Miss Anna Binek. Uh, any contradiction? So, um, basically, if you ask me, based on health issues, mm. spirulina is fine for everything except one. Uh, if you if you're having a person who's going who's having kidney failure and going for dialysis, I would not recommend giving spirulina. It has no effect on the kidney, but when they go for dialysis and they consume spirulina, the dialysis fluid will actually become green <laughs> due to the spirulina. So that will actually make make the medical personnel uh, a bit uh, affected or they get scared. So I would suggest that those people who are going for dialysis to avoid spirulina. Other mm, than that, spirulina okay. is, is baby-proof, child-proof, adult-proof, uh, old, old people-proof, all-proof. <laughs> okay, for the married, for the single one, everybody can <laughs> take spirulina. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, guys, any, any more questions uh, regarding this uh, spirulina? Because spirulina, I think most of us are well known already about this spirulina. But the thing is, uh, maybe some of uh, our distributor uh, or any, any, anyone uh, afraid to consume in the biggest amount. Uh, that's, that's the thing that the most uh, I, I always I always tell this to people that when it comes to food, you can consume anything you want in this world as long as it's moderation. Problem is not the food. Problem is our system. If let's say when you go to a hospital and let's say you're diabetic, doctors will give you a lot of restriction. But the problem is not the food. Problem is your pancreas is imbalanced. You know? So I would say that don't blame the food. Blame your system. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Mm. Okay, uh, we take this question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just prolong your tips to use the spirulina mask. <laughs> okay, how many minutes do you use spirulina mask in your hair? Okay, uh, I would suggest once you mix uh, spirulina with gano oil, rub it in your scalp, and then you can just wrap it up. I would like to use this kind of like a shower cap. Yeah, you can use shower cap. Use shower cap, and you go and do your cleaning. Go do some cleaning, you know, spend some time for like two hours. The reason why I said that, because it's good for you to sweat a bit. Because when you sweat, you open up the pores. And the spirulina yeah. and the gun are all able to sip inside. So I would say that uh, after one to two hours, at least. Mm, okay. At least, at least. Mm. <laughs> okay, excellent presentation. Mm. Terima kasih. Yeah, terima kasih. Kalau tak suka makan sawi, makan spirulina. <laughs> I I totally agree with with uh, Daniel's word. Those those parents who have uh, children who are not eating vegetables, who are very stubborn, who are very difficult, it's okay, guys. Just give your kids spirulina. The children will grow up beautifully and with brains. Hmm. Hey, uh, can spirulina reduce the allergy? Maybe the the yeah. nut allergy. Mm. Yeah. True. Hmm. Okay, uh, so I think uh, anyone who got allergic, so can try. Hmm, spirulina. Hmm, 
Okay, come on guys. Uh, any more question? Boleh tanya, boleh tanya. Apa saja soalan berkaitan dengan DSN Spirulina. Okay. And then for your information, uh, just now oh, we already highlight the IMSAM DSN MOU uh, project uh, to help reduce the malnutrition uh, for the child. Okay. So, kita, kita project kita adalah bagi 3 gram uh, setiap seorang setiap hari selama setahun. Okey lebih daripada lebih kurang lebih kurang daripada 1 juta kanak-kanak yang kekurangan nutrisi ataupun malnutrition. Ah uh, yang kita katakan hunger and malnutrition is the biggest problem in the world. So inilah cara kita tolong. Ah uh, dan sikit masa lagi uh, kita akan announce di project ataupun di campaign untuk anda donate ataupun untuk anda sama-sama derma ke dalam projek ataupun dalam kempen uh, nak kita malnutrition ni lah. Jadi kita bersabarlah ha? bukan sekarang. Nanti kita akan announce kempen untuk anda derma. Hmm, okay. Uh... Ah, padu, power ni. Dia jawab lah. <laughs> uh, the secret is out lah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I do I do do that like I, I usually do. I'm not I'm a bit lazy, so I will do maybe two weeks once I will do, but I still do. But the, the hair also very strong, right? Can pull. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's not coming out. Ketarik. Okay, uh, Mr. Frankie asking, do you know best food for cancer patient? Mm. Definitely, definitely. Because when, when a person is, is having such a huge thing like cancer, their their immune their immunity will be affected their mm. nutrition will be deprived and especially those cancer patients who are going through chemo or radiotherapy they are being very much exposed so spirulina will be an abundant supply of nutrients to support the body because the body is going through so yeah. much the system is going through so much so spirulina is definitely one of the best food for cancer patients but mm. i would actually like to add that also give microwagey and morenzyme because when it comes to cancer patient the absorption won't be so good so you can give microwagey and morenzyme together just to build the digestion system and also virgin coconut oil to allow uh, bowel movement because when they're exposed to all this radiation it's very important for waste material to also go out so spirulina is definitely best food but you can also incorporate uh, microwagey morenzyme and virgin coconut oil. Hmm, absolutely. Hmm, terbaik eh. Okay. Kepulim. Uh, <laughs> Your face very shining. Ah, uh, uh, use. Ah, yeah. uh, 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 use jempuri mask. Okay. Jadi <laughs> semua brighter. Naturally, though, natural, natural. Okay. Wei, eh, banyak betul ni. Uh, Abis lah boleh jadi ambassador <laughs> macam tu ni. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, another conversation is compare. Frankie is asking wonderful question. Keep it coming. This, which one? This one? No, Daniel was saying. Spirulina mm. helps for pancreatic cancer patients. Yes, definitely. As I have explained, Spirulina helps to balance your blood glucose. So basically, this is pretty simple, guys. You don't have to like have specific cancer. Spirulina is an all-rounder nutrition supplier. It has abundant supply of nutrition. So when a person suffers from something called cancer, the abnormality cells are there. Spirulina definitely helps in giving these nutrition to the body, to boosting up our immune system and allowing our body to fight the cancer and fight the abnormal cell. Spirona mm -hmm. definitely helps, but I wouldn't say like Spirona plays a role. It helps our body system to fight whatever abnormality is happening in our body. Regardless pancreatic cancer or colon cancer or liver cancer, Spirona mm -hmm. is generally a well-being product to boost our immune system and a preventive step even before coming to cancer stage. Yes. So maybe for the details you can find in the 
uh, uh, journal of scientific research uh, by Dr. Siva and also by Dr. Dr. Lim. Okay, uh, everything is there. <coughs> okay, mm. let's see. Uh, uh, thank you uh, for your valuable information. Mm. Yeah, welcome. Okay. Uh, okay, guys. I think uh, no more question from the viewers. Um, thank you very much for all of you to be with us uh, to learn and understand about the essence by Rulina. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Mm. So I think we come to the end. Mm, uh, uh, last word from our presenter, Ms. Wabisha. <coughs> um, I think I, I, today I feel like everybody is going to have Spiruna in their dreams. Experience, uh, experience. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One more, one, one minute. Uh, I think we have to take this uh, beautiful question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because too much protein and full to uh, human body. So what do you say about spirina and protein? Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, again, I'm saying that you can eat anything you want in this world as long as in moderation. So when you get DXM product, at the back it says per day, what is the intake, how many capsules is allowed, and uh, how many grams of uh, spirulina powder is required for the daily dosages. So as long as you keep up to that, our body is unique. See, whatever we take, our body will just store what is needed and remove what is not needed. So as long as your system is fine, you have no need to worry about consuming as much as you can. Because our body knows. Problem happens when our system is not good. This is why it's mm -hmm. good to start with DXM product to prevent from this problem of not absorbing very well issues. So if you ask me, there's no such thing as too much protein. Our body will know how much protein is needed and what's the balanced protein need to be regardless as a waste material. Okay. Mm. All right, so I think continue with your uh, last word, okay. last advice. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, everybody is going to dream about Spirona. I hope it's a fantastic and good dream about Spirona. Um, in, in conclusion, you might, I might seem like each time when I say, I always say something like this product is amazing, amazing, amazing. That's because DXN is, is fantastically and very valuably given us each and every product which has all the benefit. You know, for me, like some, I do have people who come and ask me like, oh, why are you not uh, looking at other companies or why are you not going to other supplements? My question is, my answer is simple. I have found the best. So why will I look for the rest? You know, when mm -hmm. you have find the best, you wouldn't bother to look at other things. I find DXN is an all-rounder complete. And for instance, something simple like Spiruna, DXN is able to give in so many forms. That shows DXN is able to accommodate the people. You know, sometimes elderly people, they're difficult to swallow because they are narrow. So we have powder. And those children, they're very stubborn on medicines. Here we have cereal. You know, like I, I find DXN is such an amazing ground and, and Spirona is definitely a must to add in your diet. I hope you guys enjoy. And tomorrow morning, start with your Spirona cereal. <laughs> oh, very impressive. Okay. <laughs> so I think the most thankful, of course, to our presenter, Vavisha, because every month never say no, only yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so thank you very much for your time, for your effort, okay, and for your knowledge uh, tonight. Okay, guys, thank you very much for being with us and hopefully uh, stay online and stay tuned with us every day. Okay, tomorrow until uh, Sunday, we have a lot of uh, in, uh, input for you, of course, to you grow your business and to give you motivation and inspiration in the XM. Okay, to all our crown, to all our leaders, thank you very much and keep promoting the XM and see you all at the top. Bye-bye.